Well, this is going well, isn't it? Flipping heck. Right. Let's see if I can find yours. No, I'm not finding you. Oh, there you are. Look at that. We are, we're there. And I can see you. It is a bit dark. I'm really sorry. I'm having light issues. But I think we'll be okay. Oh, you don't want to hear that. Shut up, Julie. I think we'll be okay. Oh, no. Turn her off. That's better. Let me see. That's it. Well, I can't see any comments, so... I don't know if there's anybody there, even. Let's have a look. I'm really good with technology, can you tell? Hello. I'm hoping that my girls are there somewhere because I used to be really good at multitasking, but just of late, I'm a bit pants. So I will say hello to everybody that's there, if you are, because I've got one of those tablet jobbies on the side and I can't see any comments, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, well. Anyway, hello. I'm here. So that is. So, out right the way. And we are really just going to have a play. It's, oh, that's a bit. Shall I lift it up a bit? See if I can lift it up without wrecking everything. Ooh, there we are. How about that? Is that all right? Yes, but jobby as in a job. Okay, Bev? As in a job. Not what you're thinking. Not a Scottish word. All right. Right, so everybody on this wonderful group that you've got can demonstrate all your different techniques you're grungy you're clean you're the dolls the jewelry and all that lovely stuff better than ever i could do it so i thought we'd go back to basics a little bit if you've only got a couple of bits and pieces i'll show you what we can do with just a couple of bits and pieces so I'll shift that out the way and somewhere I've got some other. Just ignore the noise of ripping cellophane and other noises that could turn up. But we're just going to work on a simple piece of card. And this isn't that rubbish stuff that Bev had. It's worse than that. But what I've done, you don't want to watch me cutting. You don't want to watch me measuring. We're just going to play. So all we're going to have is a piece of card, a template, an ink pad, a blending tool and somewhere I've got a stamp we'll find it it's not important not yet anyway so all we're gonna do really to start is just centralize the stencil over the piece of card now then because this is live TV, it's not going to go straight for me, is it? So I'm going to mask it down with a bit of tape. 
and hopefully the bit of card won't move but I'll stick my fingers on and hopefully keep it straight now all I'm gonna do is if I bring this in just using the stencil just to outline where we're gonna stamp just to give a shadow so I'm not gonna need much ink so just gonna rub my foam pad over it I knew this one does. thanks Jan love you so because our stencils are thick they're not going to ruckle if we start messing with them we can start on there literally just catch the edge just catch the edge just go around and catch the edge now it won't look like there's a lot on there and the reason for that is because there ain't I want, I want that ink pad to last me a long time so I'm not going to use a whole lot is that washing tape mother yes it is just cheap washi tape this one I think it well I don't think it was much more than because it's not any good for putting on journals or anything because it doesn't take any you know any sort of it's not absorbent it, it'll come off if it gets wet but it's a cheap tape that is great for holding stuff down holding your templates down if you put your templates through your die cutter stick them down with this so as they don't move always have cheap washi tape so there we go and all i'm doing is just carrying on round there to get all the the ink off the stencil as well because a bit like most of us I don't clean them either, so we're going to take it off that way. Now, I can't decide whether to do the little house, because this one on here, that's the bird house. So I can't decide whether to do that or do something different. I'm going to do something different. Bear with. I'm just... Um, got an idea sorry I've scrunched all me look another bit of cheap washing tape but if you've got all your stencils your borders and all that punch a hole in them put them all on the same book ring and just keep them on the side and you're not late it's all right it's me that's disorganized so I'm just going to use a horizon stencil and I'm going to plunk it. I want that dip. I'm just going to put it straight across the middle and I'm just still going to use the same. There's going to be enough ink on there. There we go. You wouldn't have thought that would have happened, would you? But your ink will go a long way off a stencil because it's not going to absorb in your stencil. Any ink you've got will go on your card. So use the same ink that you've got. It doesn't matter what you're doing, whether you're doing journals, cards, canvases, anything. Use all your ink up. So let's find, I'm trying to read um, comments, but to be fair, I'm rubbish at it because I need different glasses for both jobs and it's not happening. I'm going to take that off. Right, so I'm going to go with... Make listen, 
tree. I can't say Christmas. <laughs> so this is the tree for the Christmas thing, you know. I mean, does anybody really care if I say Christmas? Doubt it. It'll come. We'll all still be on lockdown, but it'll come. And I'm going to stamp that through the stencil because I can make sure I'm right on the edge, but it's not going to come over the top. Christmas tree, it's September now. Oh, are we? Okay. So I'm using this Christmas tree, and then I'm going to use another Christmas tree, but I'm not going to use the big Christmas tree. Yeah. Pretty. I need another little block. Because I've got a little Christmas tree. Now, because that is such a dink, I might just do the unforgivable and actually pop my stamp into the ink. Now, can you see where I've got my horizon here? There we go. Let me have a look. Michelle, my darling, how are you? Oh, love you. How's puppies? So, excuse me, I'm just getting eaten by mine. No, go away. Please leave. Please leave. <laughs> that was funny, that was. That was really funny. Right, now, like I said, we're not using much. Bit of card, bit of ink, template, and one set of stamps. Nothing else. Both of those are on the same set. So we, we just, you know, if you've got one set of stamps, use all the bits on it. So there we are. And it gives us such a lovely, crisp finish. Now, little tip for you. I chopped this card up and not really took much care over it. And I think the blade in my trimmer's rubbish. But can you see we've got this raised edge a bit? Right, well, if you have got... An a tool that you can just swipe along that'll curve it if you've got a bone folder that will curve it if you are on limited product you've got one of those back of your nail just run the back of your nail down there please make sure you haven't got ink on it, which at the moment I haven't. And just run the back of your nail down there. That curls the fibres down and underneath. And you've now got a smooth card. Right, so with this, what I'm going to do is put a border on. Now, I did decide which border to use when I was going to do a different card. In fact, I'm just going to use the same border because it's there. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to use the one that's on the same set of stamps because that's what we said we'd do. I need a block. So, long wiggly border, pop him down. With the side you're going to ink down. So he's upside down technically. Pop your block on him. And pick him up. And then he's should be right. Should 
be right. I don't even know what that design is. I can't remember. So I'm going to use my clap. Oh, it's that nice one. And I'm just going to get it as near to the middle as I can. I'm going to whiz it round again. Let's go. Oh, sorry. A bit of a hairdressing. Lovely. See, you can't see me or you think you need a hairdresser, Julie. So need a hairdresser. Dog's empty in the bin. Can you hear it? And there we go. Now, do I want something in the corners? What else have we got on that sheet? Yeah, that would do nicely. Just ignore me. Well, I witter to myself. I do apologise. I do it all the time. Just chunter away. And we'll pop that. Oh, yes! Do you know, it's almost like it was made for it. There we go. Have you ever had anybody else do a live that didn't speak to anybody but the self? I am so sorry, peeps, but it's because that iPad tablet jobby thing, well, it's just not playing. And I can't see a thing. And I've broke my computer, so I can't even look across the room at that. But that's another story. Right, so there we are. And now all I'm going to do is layer it all up. Now, you might be thinking, well, that was a bit quick. I'm not finished yet. I've got another one. <laughs> You're not getting rid of me that quick. Right. So, again, all I've done, I've got bits of card all cut to size. And now, the best way of doing this, when you're cutting your card to layer up, have your piece that you're going to use for your image, and then just make your layers half a centimetre bigger or round, and then find a card they'll fit on. Now, I'm going to... Just pop some foamies on all the way round. And I'm not only going to put a couple on because, again, the last thing you want to see is some old bird sticking foam pads on stuff. Now, another tip. When you are layering, stand up and look down on your work if it, you can. I know we can't all do it. But if you can, you'll get it all central. See, I mean, if you look at the faff I'm having with this now, because I'm not standing up. Seriously, if you stand up and look down on your work, you will be able to get things straight down, square in the middle, and not have one edge thicker than the other. So, see, because if you look at that, look. Because I've only put a couple of foam pads on, it'll ping off. 
See, I would stand up, but the thing is, as soon as I stand up, the dog's going to think I've got to play with it. And I'm not doing that. Now, what I would suggest as well, when you're layering this amount up, make sure, you know, if you're going to post it, don't because it's going to end up going as a small parcel. Keep it, you know, keep it flat as you can, but make sure you support the middle. Right, now the reason I wanted it layered up is because I'm going to glue. Let's make sure the glue's coming out. So I wanted to do this before... There we are. Dobs of glue. And it doesn't matter what glue you're going to use. If you've got the blue glue... Um, this is our PVA. And if you're batch making, how simple is this? Don't put as many layers on if you're batch making. You know, because she'll just get bored. Let's have a piece of card under there. And a bit of twinkle. And because the glue dries clear, that's going to be lovely. Now, the other thing you can do... Finest line. This is where a glue pen would be great. Because you can just draw it. There we are. So, why am I turning it round? So, there you go. If I lift that up with that. Oop. There you are. Just a little bit of glitter makes such a difference now do we want a message on it yes we do oh excuse me let me grab at me bit of scrap card I'm trying to see every time I clear my Oh, that's not going to be long enough. Let's get rid of him. Right, ink pad. Can anybody see my ink pad? Oh, there it is. I don't know if any of you can hear the rustling in the background. That is the dog slowly emptying the waste bin. That isn't what I wanted to do. Bear with. You know, you have an idea and then... better 
Right, now I'm not sure whether that's <sighs> dry enough yet. But... These scissors are a bit chunky for that. A kink. I don't want a great big. Just snip everything up to suit. That might be a bit big, but cut a bit off. That's better. Needs. Let's see. Get them off there and off there. And simple card. How about that? Is that okay, everybody? Do we want to do another one? Let me have a look. See if I can read some of the comments. So uh, is, 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 I'm brilliant, Steve-O. Steve-O, see left-handed scissors? I'll give anybody a run for the money. Oh, Bev. You didn't have to say. You grasped me up. There we are. Are we happy with that? Shall I? Have I got time? Shall I go again? Do you want me to go again? Hey, Steve. -o. I am sorry. I've ignored everybody. Really sorry. Thanks, Jane. Thanks, Sue. Right, has nobody said go again? Oh, thanks, Kay. I thought I was getting an early cup of tea then. Harry says that's really cool. Oh, I love him. Right, tell you what then, let's go again. Do this one just the same, I reckon. But this time I've got to cut my card. So, I've lost my big piece of card. What have I done with that? Right. I have gonna do another one. It won't be quite as dramatic, I'm sure. But how simple are they? Right, I'm gonna firstly have to cut down a piece of card to stamp on and I think that's cast I'll tell you what we'll do she says she didn't measure if we go to the end of the red bit that will do end of the red bit I think that will fit a bit let's have a look that take the template just about just about right should we do something different going to do um here it is. let's see does that fit on there yeah well, I am, however, going to pop a little bit of tape down because 
it is a bit smaller than the card but again limited resources if you have limited resources another one for you so i'm going to pop that down there get that as near to the middle now this is going to be non-christmas see we've worked out that we're allowed to say I'm not going to say it anymore now so there we are non Christmas Maggie non blooming Christmas um what colors shall I have I'm gonna go with blue so again I'm just gonna use one ink pad um blending tool and again if you have a blending tool you know bit of foam uh paintbrush there we go now this one do you know i might have to bring in another colour I'm gonna see first so where is my line I'm thinking I want a halfway line let's get a piece of card just to so get that and go there. So again, bit of ink. I'm going to try not to have to reload. But now. See, this is where I could have done with not sticking it down because I could do with, but now I'm going to rip that ink off. I've got me line better. yes like it i like it a lot ah uh, what a nice oh tea dye let's borrow that again apologies for any crunching or noise you can hear in the background Dog's favourite toy is an empty pop bottle or milk carton. And <laughs> cheap. It's all right. Can have a brand new one every day. So, yeah, didn't want quite that much. So right. So there we go. Can you tell what it is yet? Sorry, that was bad. That was really bad. Now we are going to add to this from some old stamps. Now, some of you may have these. Well, I hope you have, because I haven't. I can't find what I've done with them. Aha! Here they go. Now, these are some of Bev's very first stunts. Never mind. But I'm going to use the tea dye again. Oh, 
was lucky. But any foliage stumps you've got, anything from anywhere, just... Oh, I don't like that one. Oh, that's not so bad. Let's see if we've got anything else. Oh, that's a nice one. Only a cartoon from the bag. I mean, you can tell how long I've had these. I just right. I don't want this as dark. What did I do with my scrap piece of card? All right. I just want to stamp off because I just want it there in the background. So ink up, stamp off, stamp on. Ink up, stamp off, stamp on. That'll do, mate. That will jolly well do, mate. And all I'm going to do with that, it's not going to... Let's have a quick look. I have to go now. Take care, Abu. And that is that going to fit? Ah, yes, yes, it is. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my black pen, and I'm guessing we've all got a black. Pen somewhere. When you do this, put hers down. The one, her favourite one. Oh, there's a brown one. That'll do. That'll be lovely. I use a pen quite well in my left hand as well, Steve-o. Is that sort of taking the mickey a bit? It's a good job we're friends, isn't it? There we are. So I'm going to take just a couple of pads for now. I don't know what time we're on. Oh, that's all right. You can tell I've not been talking because it would have been. Ten times later. There we are. Oops. Right. If the girls want me back, and why on earth they would, I don't know. I promise to get all my technology sorted by then. Um... be able to communicate with you all 
a whole lot better. Right, it just needs a little bit. Excuse me one minute. Diesel! Diesel, get out the rubbish. <laughs> I hope you didn't hear my husband then. We had a couple of expletives about the dog emptying the rubbish bin. But I think it's all right. I think he got away with it. And a little bit of collage medium. So you keep walking around saying sorry. <laughs> Sit. So again, it does want a sentiment. It really, really does. It's crying out for one. I don't know why I've still got this iPad rubbishy thing sitting there. It's not like it's doing anything. Let me prop that there a minute. Ah, uh, do, 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 do. Yes, that is perfect. Again, things like this, you just need simple messages, nothing to because it could be a card for anything. Do you know what? I'm going to even stamp it in that gorgeous... Oh, hello. Yes, it's stamped beautifully. I don't often stamp words in distress because you don't always want your words to look distressed for want of a better description but that has come out really quite nicely again with the hunky chunky scissors and this is where you can use all your scraps up because if you've got a set of words messages anything like that stamp them up stamp them up cut them up put them on your collage board ready to use as much as anything clears away all your scraps and uh, you've got things there ready to use and I'll trim these down One on that, and one on there, because at least this way you will get to see this finished. So let's pull that back in. there and I think we'll call that done I like that I like that a lot hope you do so I will try and see if I can see any of the replies I will go back and I will read them and I will acknowledge them but few got through it Thank you for staying with me. Thank you for putting up with my slightly fractious start and through. But there we go. I don't know what's done with the other one either. But this is how I work in an absolute chaotic manner. But I try to come up with the goods for you. 
so hopefully you'll get some of your little bits out just get one or two things out and create something with it you don't need a table full you need just a minute to look at what you've got just take a minute look at it and just try and visualize it as something just a simple little card two colors of ink in the end on this one because we went with the beach but i love it i think uh, i think i can put that down in my yeah i'll do that'll do nicely i haven't got 10 more minutes i really haven't there isn't another 10 minutes in me <laughs> Right, what we got? Love it. Great. Love it. Love it. Oh, thank you so much. I just, well, just thank you for being there. And we'll hopefully uh, see you again sometime. If you don't see me again, it'll be all right, because I'll still be there wittering on with everybody else's. So take care, everybody. Bye.